It's about 90 degrees outside. Bus hasn't turned on in about, I don't know, two weeks. I, that paint could be redone. My wife and I hadn't brushed this whole bus two years ago. Hopefully the battery's not dead. She drains a little bit. Here's the... Uh, Shows 201,000. And it shows 8,000 hours and 13, 8,013 hours. Manual. Clutch. Move my seat up, okay. So, fuel works, the gauge works, speedometer works. Well, it was working. Yeah, RPMs work. Temperature, I don't trust this gauge. Oil pressure works good. Uh, the alternator works. Once it warms up, it'll go to 12. I put an aftermarket water temperature gauge, which is not working right. So now I don't think the temperature is all that off. Oh wow, I might not even have had temperature problems. Okay. See, uh, it's charging. Once it warms up, it'll go to 13. I'm gonna let it idle for a bit. Let it get warmed up. And then I'll show you how it drives. Okay, so it has a propane fridge, has this table that uh, has these legs that I put in. And uh, all they do is the legs remove and the table folds down. It's out of the way. Has this uh, cheapy couch, uh, a couch bed. Not too bad. Has this craftsman uh, toolbox that I made into a sink. It's my fridge. Last time I used it, it worked. But I have not used it, so I can't confirm it's working. I could always test it out. Uh, bunk beds. That mattress is a. I'm gonna. I have a new mattress that goes with the bus. That one we keep. Here's the sink. Runs off a pump. Made a little shelf. This could use work. I'm sure you guys could figure it out. A better way than what I have. I have it like on a barn style sliding thing. This was my shower idea. I was gonna run a curtain. Uh, that's the mini split. Controllers right here. It has uh, the thing on struts. There's the 100 gallons. Fresh water. This is where I had my electric pump down there. And all my plumbing that hooks up to city water. And the fuse box, fuse panel that works fine on 50 amps. Uh, I have some uh, little things here and there. Motion sensor lights that are magnetized. Go with the bus. Uh, this one too. I put a carbon monoxide detector. This is where the emergency hatch went. Uh, I have a rooftop tent, a rooftop AC that goes with it, brand new. Might be broken, it fell, it fell down the other day, I'm not sure. Uh, right now it's nice and hot outside. Let's see what the temperature's at. Temperature shows almost way down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. That's why I know this gauge is not working now. There's no way it's at 190. So when I thought it was over 210, I was I'm pretty sure I was wrong. All right, I'm gonna put this on the dash, nice and dirty window. I'm gonna go for a little ride so you can see how it runs. This door gets a little hung up. Gotta pull in that side first. Has a backup camera. I need to reposition the, uh, that's better. I need to reposition that camera on the back, but it works power. Neat little feature. Alright, let go around the block. The door open is too high. Adjust my seat. Alright, let's look at the gauges real quick. Alternator's awesome. Oil pressure's good. Fuel works. RPMs work.
handbrake works. Brakes work. All disc brake, by the way. 